This is an audio podcast, and you'll learn a ton about cooking and eating, but for the full meal deal, check out the video on YouTube at Go Greenfields or at GoGreenfields.com. Welcome to the Go Greenfields podcast with me, River, and me, Taryn. And today we're going to Tate's Honey Farm to pick up our honeybees. So now we are back at our place. We have our beehive all set up, and we have our bees in this box here, and we're going to start putting them in. Yeah, and later on in this episode, we're going to be showing you guys how to make some granola with this honey that we got from Tate's Honey Farm. And right now, let's get into the actual bee placing in the box process. Alright, you can open the box and say hi to our friends. Hello, oh my gosh, there's, oh, there's five. five! I'm not so confident comp- confident about it. Right, it's just a confidence thing. There you go. Yeah, just ask them to be gentle. Hey guys, hey guys and girls. Okay. Don't worry. Let's just settle down a bit. And if they start to swarm, you know what? We can leave them and come back. There we go. Now they don't have to go as far. So we'll give them a second. They're like, hey. There we go. Careful, we don't want to scrape them off the side there. That'll upset them. Okay, there we go. Right here. Closest to the sugar. Oh, somebody landed in the sugar. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that was a little bit of a shake. That's all Sorry. Right. That's alright. It's coming out. Ooh, that one's loaded. There we go. Nice. to make some granola, which is what we're going to make today. We have some honey from Tate's Honey Farm. That's right. Which is where we got our bees. Uh, it's really nice color. It's amber golden. We have some oats, some pecans, some dried apricots, some coconuts, coconut oil, vanilla, cinnamon. It's going to be wonderful. Tastes good. <laughs> so the first step is to take half a cup of coconut oil and just melt it down in a pot. You want a bigger pot because you're going to add the honey later on which is also at the top. I think this will go really well with the coconut flakes. Since it's both coconut, it'll add a nice flavor. What's next, River? Now we're going to add in half a cup of honey to our coconut oil. Make sure it's melted first, uh, the coconut oil, because we just don't want to burn the honey when the coconut oil is melting. And we just want the honey warm. Yeah, we don't want to overheat it. So I'm just going to put this in probably for like, I don't know, a minute, maybe max. Because it'll melt really fast. Cool. Now we're going to add three cups of oats into this bowl, along with one and a half cups of pecans, uh, what is it? one cup of coconut flakes, and we're going to add one teaspoon of cinnamon and one teaspoon of vanilla. You can do more cinnamon if you like, but I would recommend it. Just because it could be overpowering if you add any more than like two teaspoons. So. Always nice with vanilla caps. You know, I'm just like the hardest way to do that. Okay, <laughs> you don't want to put your dried apricots in because they're not supposed to cook in the oven because they're already dried. So mix this together first. That's got some out can pop. And then we can put on this on top, which is the honey and coconut oil mixture. I love the smell of vanilla. I smell good. Vanilla is the best ice cream flavor in my opinion. Or cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. That's like vanilla with cookie chunks and stuff. Yeah. Or caramel. Anything caramel. Anyway, we're just going to mix this together. It kind of falls apart a little bit, but it also sticks together, mm-hmm. which is good. This is going to be like a great trail snack or anything you want to top on like cakes or mix it into your ice cream. You can top it on vanilla ice cream. Oh, or yogurt. You can put it on yogurt, like coconut yogurt. I think your mom does that with her like, cocoa yos. I think is what they're called. Mm, smells good. Yeah. Coconut 
granola. This is a very, this is probably something for a more sweet like variety of foods, but it still tastes good on something like that does not many flavor. And then we're gonna put it on the pan. Just you spread it out. <laughs> spread it out a little bit. Okay. And these oats are going to turn brown, I think, once they're done in the oven. Yeah, so it's a little, a little different color. It won't color. look like this. We're going to put this in the oven at 350 for 15 to 25 minutes, depending on how toasted you want. Into the oven. Boom. All right, the TV's done. Okay, so uh, we're at the 10 minute mark in our 15 to 20 minute uh, cooking time. 15 to 25. 15 to 25 minutes. Actually, I'm going to talk. And we're just going to take it out and stir the granola around a bit. Just good to get it moving and uh, make sure everything's cooked evenly, not just the top. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit uh, soft and that sort of thing, but it's going to get toasted. It'll be very yummy. Let's move it back out again. I drop them. <gasps> so it is now done cooking. As you can see, it's very toasted now. And although it still is soft, it'll harden up since there's oil in it. And when it cools, it'll harden up. So yeah, it's a little smoky. It's a little toasty. But yeah, that's the granola. So I will uh, come back to you guys when it's all cool. Now it's time to add in our apricots. We're using apricots. You can use raisins. I like raisins. I think we did that in our last batch. It was pretty good. Raisins uh, are amazing. You could do, I don't I know, you raisins. could do dates. We'd probably have to like cut them up a little bit. You can choose any dried fruit, really, like a plum or a fig, something like that. But we're choosing apricots, and I'm just going to put that in. No. Please. After. Sure, take one. Yay. <laughs> He's so nice. And we're just going to mix this around, get it. Uh, this is while it's cooling. If you do it right after or before the process, they, I don't know what would happen to them, really, but I don't think it would taste as good. It might become kind of like shriveled or something. I don't know, it's still good. Well, it's already shriveled, technically. So, the granola is now cooled and ready. As you can see, it's a little bit more, uh, I guess, solid and not as mushy. And I uh, want to try some. Yeah, but a quick tip. Um, we cooked yours for 20 minutes. It was a little bit dark. It might depend on your yeah. oven, but I would say 15 minutes is probably pretty good. 15 to 20. Ours is a little bit dark, but... At least we made the mistakes, now you guys can do it, Dark, right? dark means a little bit burnt. Yeah, so, you want to taste some? Apricot, okay. Mmm. The apricot has a nice touch to it. It's kind of like a chewy... Excuse me? Okay, the apricot is like a chewy part with the granola. It's kind of like a crunchy, chewy. Definitely two different flavors. Um, the apricot has a nice sweet touch. I feel like the granola isn't as sweet as I thought it was going to be, which is kind of nice, almost refreshing. Yeah, what do you think? I like the apricot a lot, but I like dried fruit. Uh, the oats are really good. Those are probably in my second favorite part. I like anything. Honey and oats is really good together. Yeah, I think it's not too sweet. Like you said, this would be a good thing to do with honey. And how we st how we store our granola is, let me just use this basically now. I'm going to leave one. Gonna, actually, ooh. You can put it in a jar, like we are doing, or you could use a buck bag so you didn't make as much. And yeah, so this is a really good kind of like on-the-go snack if you want to have like a snack on your while you're hiking or like you know, lunch box real quick on top of ice cream or yogurt, all of that. It's a you can use this vanilla for lots of different things. Uh, this was really fun. Thank you for Tate's Honey Farm for the honey and for the bees. If you got bees, make sure you check on them. Yes, if you have bees, make sure you check on them. And, uh, yeah, it's turned out really good. Thank you guys for watching. That's not all of it. There's more. Yeah, that's it's just over it. there. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more recipes, you can check out our Instagram, mm -hmm. our website, greenfields.com, uh, probably our Facebook, that sort of thing. YouTube, make sure to subscribe yes. there. Yes. If you're on YouTube, and make sure to subscribe and comment. Thanks for all of that. See you guys next time. <laughs> see ya. Welcome back to another 10 New Ideas with me, River. And me, Taryn. Today we are going to do 10 new ideas. This is for June uh, 27th, 2022. Why don't you start? Okay, uh, my first one is going to be a mini sketchbook because I like drawing small things more than I like drawing big things. And I think it would be useful to have a sketchbook that is good paper and a cool cover, but it's super small. And then uh, a fruit candy maker. Somehow you could make, like, there's, like, cotton candy machines. If somehow you could use, like, ginger mm, or something. Ginger cotton make, candy. Like, no, not cotton candy, but like can't like just candies out of it somehow. Oh, okay. And then mini gargoyles to put over your door. 
If you think that the food we made today is delicious, you're right. It was so good, and we know, and we know that part of the reason we love food so much is because we use the best ingredients. If you're looking for a reliable source of healthy, tasty ingredients, you can't beat Thrive Market. Visit gogreenfields.com forward slash Thrive Market to give it a try today. Well, that last one's a little weird. I'm not sure who would have that, but okay. It's an idea, though. My first one is a coffee cup made of donuts, so you don't even have to dip your coffee. You don't even have to dip your donuts. What if in it coffee. soaks through? That's a side effect. <laughs> um, maybe it could be covered in a glaze or something that's waterproof. I don't know. Um, my next one is a candle made of fondant, so you can actually eat the candle. Did you know how like you like the frosting off the bottom of candles? How do you stick them in the cake? Yes. Well, this one you could eat. And then my last one is a fishing pole with a Bluetooth tracking hook, so you can see where your hook is. When you're catching the fish. Can I see? Can I ask you what one, one more of yours is? Hmm? What's a salmon shooter? <laughs> um, it shoots salmon? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, that concludes our seven new ideas, seven? or seven ideas out of our each of our ten new ideas. <laughs> and thank you for listening. Tune in next time for another ten new ideas segment. See you next time.